is a friendly reminder to join my Discord server. Anyways, a few uh, about a year ago, I posted a video on I showed a redstone puzzle using an interesting contraption with the use machine. How I actually did that? Well, here it is. So, so I got this inspiration by Elma Animation from their little bite-sized Minecraft videos they used to do back in the day. And I saw this thing was created, but I thought it was, so it was too complicated because, yeah. Oh, I don't know if you got the audio, but yeah. I'm using a different microphone because I'm not at my house at the moment. So yeah, I kind of got inspiration from Elma Animation and, and Seth Bling. But I saw Seth Bling's video, it's kind of too complicated, so I decided to make a design of my own. And this one's much more simpler, at least for me at least. As you can see, there's like a redstone line right here. And you see, this repeat is connected to this piston, and this line is connected to this piston. So how- and then there's like another line. So how it works is this, you place the lever down, turn it on, and it gets it right back. If you do a second time though, this area here will actually open up. See how that works is that, see here, if you connect this redstone line, this it'll may act, this redstone piston first, which will kind of act as an as if it were an observer. And then this repeater will act this piston and pull it back down. Which, and because, of, and because it pulls back down, and when you do it a second time, this one won't activate immediately, but this but this one will. So this will activate first, which will give this enough time to unpower this redstone torch right here, which will give it enough which will give it enough time to power this redstone torch and unpower this one, which will pull this black block out to pluck back temporarily and then push it back in. Here, let me show you one more time, like that. So first time this will activate first, and then this will activate, and the second time this will activate, and then this will activate, which will give it time to deactivate this and reactivate it at a certain time. And the and the rest of the part is like a simple jet door and whatnot just that I saw in one of the micro official guidebooks. And as you can see here, this is a trap chest, not a normal chest. Which means it will give off a redstone signal. If I don't know if it's all briefly, but that redstone repeater did activate briefly, which deactivated this torch, which reactivated this torch, which deactivated this torch, which is powering this mechanism right here. And if, if and if you guys recall, if you ever saw that video, I did use some interesting mechanics to, to get their ID signs, but this one I'm going to use fences, just, just to make it similar. So, one more time, how that works, and I forgot the water bucket, which is the main important part. And as you can see here, I mean, set across to the other station. And that's, how, and that's how it works. And that's how it works. And normally in that video, you would end up in this room. And yeah. And there's no, like, no way out. And then there's, this is more of a design for it for to be a two-player kind of world. Let me fix this up. Yeah, so it is, so I recommend that if you are going to build a puzzle like this, I recommend you either put an exit here, like the next point, or a redstone line to the act of this one. Or you could like make it a two-player only person, where like one person would like stay behind and then and work this station right here. And once and once you're done, and once the first person collects all the items from the chest, they come out and the other person can like look away from the chest. Assuming that the person doesn't doesn't like trolling and just doesn't like close the chest and you just leaves you stranded with all the valves and over there, that'd be kind of funny though to be honest. But yeah, this idea was was recommended by Mr. Mystery. So yeah, ho hopefully that, that helps you out, and hopefully that inspires you to make your make your own kind of contraption. Like, you can go play some. Like this is my simple way of doing it. I know there's another YouTuber, that, I see another YouTuber who does it, like, but it's like more complex. So this is actually the most simplest design I can make out of it. So yeah, hopefully that helps. And that's all the time I have. I'm currently at my university right now, recording this. I'm afraid someone's gonna come in. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to join my Discord server, like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to check. And feel free to check out my other content in the meantime. And yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.